All right, so um, got a little issue going on here. I've been uh, actually a lot of people have been dealing with issues with uh, Xbox controllers for months now. Uh, I've found a new one, really fucking new. Right now, you can see this is the Series X controller. It's got the share button there in the middle. It's about the only physical looking difference. There's a texture difference, whatever, more specifics like shiny on the Xbox One, not shiny on here. Uh, whatever the the Series X controller is more more textured and it's got a round D pad. Uh, Xbox One does not have more textured. It's it's a little less textured and it's got a standard plus sign type D pad. And it's got no uh, share button in the middle right there. So both of these are turned off right now. Let me go ahead and show you the issue. Uh, so pay attention. So this right here, you can see. I noticed this pop up. Yeah. That's uh that's being caused by the controllers, which are currently turned off. Not not even kidding. Uh, ignore that this is small. I actually have this zoomed in. The game I had launched kind of messes with stuff a little bit. Uh, so let's go into display settings here. Look at that. It's uh it's fucking stuff up here too, huh? Uh, actually, let's not go display. Let's instead go personalize. That way I don't accidentally mess with something. Look around. You can see it switches back and forth but how do i know that's the controller well other than the fact that it started after i got out of a game uh let's go ahead and uh turn on the series x controller uh, after i load up bluetooth devices so you can see this is the xbox one controller this is the series x controller down here there's nothing really uh just my phone and the lightning node pro for uh, iq uh, because of the lights in my system. These are paired. It it doesn't say connected because they're not turned on. So if I turn this on, this one here, since this is the Series X controller, it will say it's connected. So let's turn this on. Wait for that to stop blinking. And it says it's connected because it's connected. It stopped blinking. So what's going on with that right here is that it's actually going up and down on the left thumbstick at a rapid rate and uh, with no user input. And you can see with the overlay, the overlay is also not detecting any input. So what happens if I put input? Oh, would you look at that? It moves. Yeah, so what it's doing is going back and forth like this at a really rapid rate. Okay, let's turn the controller back off then. And uh, let's then swap over to the Xbox One controller and see what happens. There, that's off. Wait for it to say it's not connected. There we go, it says paired, not connected, Steam opened up. Let's turn on Xbox One controller. Also jump into a game after this. It's now connected. Yeah, it still works, but uh, it's still fucking up because of the software. See, if it was just firmware, then that issue would go away as soon as the controller was turned off. Software, on the other hand, it'll persist until a system restart or until that software is restarted or killed or whatever. Now the controller's off. Let's go ahead and close this uh, and minimize OBS and let's... uh. Let's actually connect, because right here, I have a big list of things I have tested. So, let's scroll up, and you can uh, pause the video here if you want to read my testing methodology. Uh, I've tested a bunch of games using this exact methodology. I went through and tested all of it, all right, in this order. Scroll down. I. Uh, Tested Borderlands 3, Game of the Year Edition Enhanced, Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD, the, the one that's no longer on Steam. Uh, the original Assassin's Creed, uh, Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock 2 Remastered, in Bioshock Infinite, Darksiders War Mastered Edition. This is the game we're going to jump into. Uh, just uh, some more games as well. Only one game on this list had absolutely no issues, and that was Grim Dawn. And that's with each controller, no issues at all. 
Uh, didn't matter if it was connected with Bluetooth or a wire for the Series X. I didn't test a wire on my Xbox One controller. Uh, only tested wire on the Series X controller. Uh, but so then the Xbox One controller was just connected with the Bluetooth. But let's go back up and uh, War Mastered Edition. What can you expect to see in this? Well, it's got some button mapping fucked up. LB functions an A. RB function is a B bunch of other stuff and then uh bluetooth it also has some occasional short disconnects wired there's absolutely no issues on darksiders war mastered edition however with the xbox one controller i have a massive frame rate reduction and massive frame latency issues uh, let's go ahead and uh actually resize that because the darksiders kind of screwed things up a little bit Although I guess I'm just going to keep it open. Anyways, uh, so let me go ahead and really quick adjust the um, overlay I have with MSI Afterburner. I'm not overclocking. I just use this for the overlay stuff. So on screen, just no monitoring. I need the minimum and maximum of the frame time. And I'm going to actually go ahead and set the maximum, uh, the minimum here. Uh, how about to 10? And just temporarily, I'm going to go ahead and set the maximum of this up to, let's say, 35. Apply. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Uh, just because you're going to see an issue, I'm going to go ahead and start instead with the uh, Xbox One controller. So let's turn this on. You can now see it's on. The overlay should be working. I'm not going to bring dis uh, OBS up to check. I just know it'll be working. So let's go and launch Darksiders 4 Mastered Edition. Get into the game. The main menu here, for whatever reason, I'll show you that real quick too. Actually, I'll show you that when I exit the game. When I'm about to exit, I mean. Because I'll exit in order to swap over to another controller. So let's just load a file real quick. Load game. Load this one. All right. Now this game or this controller is the Xbox One controller. Remember, it has absolutely no issues with a button mapping, no input mapping issues. All it does have an issue with is the frame rate and frame latency. As you can see, the frame latency there, that graph, you can see why I changed it to be a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 35. That way you can actually see how bad that frame latency is and why it's screwing up. Because when I turn this controller off, You can now see the frame rate jumped up. Obviously, it goes to a controller disconnected screen, but whatever, ignore that. It, you can't really exit it, just kind of a weird choice for them. I don't know why they did that. You just you can't do anything. Uh, you'll notice later that the frame rate is fine. I'll load this same file in the same area. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, turn this controller back on. Watch the frame rate reduce again, and you can see the frame latency issue is there. Again, doesn't matter if I look down. Doesn't matter if I look up. I uh, also pay attention. I'll do that one more time. Just pay attention to the GPU usage. Turn this controller off so the frame rate can jump up. Controller is now off. GPU usage jumped up. The controller is causing an issue. Obviously, GPU usage isn't all the way up, but it it's still higher. Turn this on. It's reduced again. Let's go back to the main menu. See what happens there. All right. Frame rate's nice and high. Let's go and turn the controller off. And I'll leave it off this time too, because I can exit out with keyboard and mouse now. <clears throat> Controller's off. For whatever reason, in the main menu, there's absolutely no issues with the controller. In the game, there is. Let's go, uh, go ahead and exit out of this, though. Of course, it wants you to actually enter it before you can. So I'll exit that and uh, swap over to this. As you can see, start menu stuff is still fucked up. Yeah, and it's not because this stuff needs updating either. That wouldn't cause it. 
uh, because I, I when I tested stuff, there wasn't anything needing an update. I keep stuff updated all on my own anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually uh, use this cable. Because with the cable, and hold it here so I don't accidentally disconnect it. Because uh, ignore this, it's a magnetic USB attachment. Uh, so I'm holding it this way so I don't accidentally disconnect it. Uh, let's go ahead and reopen Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Of course, you're not hearing the game or desktop audio, whatever, because I have that muted in OBS right now. You don't really need to listen to the, the game audio with what I'm doing. As soon as I can get into it, it has a long intro scene here thing. See the, the frame rate, the main menu, it's fine. It's the same as it was with the Xbox One controller. Let's load up that same file. Be in the same area. Remember... This controller with a wire, with the cable, absolutely no issues. Look at that. I don't have fucked up button mapping or anything. And uh, let's uh, hold this in a way you can see. So X obviously should be attack. Y should be the, the fist attack. Whoops, wrong way. Go this way. Uh, up and down will be reversed for me only because I use inverted Y axis on games. So up being down is actually correct and down being up is correct. So uh, B is to grab stuff. A is to jump. No issues there. However, disconnect this. Wait for it to connect. All right, it's connected. Oh, now it's disconnected. Let's just uh, like keep an eye on this. Watch. It'll, it'll disconnect again. Let's uh, see if I can play with it backwards. No mixed up button mapping right now because I started it. Oh, disconnected again. I knew it disconnected because he ran when I wasn't touching the thumbstick. Because I was running and then it disconnected while running. So anyway, as you can see. Uh, disconnected again. No input. Button mapping isn't messed up on this because I connected it or I launched the game with the cable. So, what happens if I reconnect the cable? Will it disconnect again? Let's wait for it to fuck up that one final time. Connect. Hold that so. Alright. No, oh, hold on. I messed it up. Yeah, I it's a little bit tricky. I connected it at the wrong time. Wait for it to reconnect. There we go. Got the connection back. Everything's back to normal. Of course, with this controller, there's no frame rate reduction even on Bluetooth, as you saw in the footage. No fucked up button mapping, no issues with input. It's working fine. So let's go ahead and exit out of this game. Yeah, exit out even though I'm still going to be using the, the Series X controller as a little example here. Only this time, I'm not going to be using the cable. So let's detach that cable. And, not only that, but let's also turn this controller off. Just uh, give it a quick reset. Controller's off, let's wait a second. And turn the controller back on. Wait for it to connect. It's connected. Let's relaunch the game without the cable. Watch how the behavior of it changes. Remember, this game does have mixed uh, or just randomized button mapping. And you saw when I was pressing it, X was attack and all that good stuff. I'm going to do the same thing, load the exact same file. It'll be in the exact same area. Don't remember if the main menu. Okay, the main menu is not random. Of course, if it's not random button mapping this time, then that's some weird luck. No, oh, hey, would you look at that? For whatever reason, this time around, I wasn't able to repeat the random button mapping. However, it's still disconnecting. So, um, 
at least that's something. How about one that does have other random button mapping? Let's uh, connect the cable here real quick, though. That way I can actually get out of the damn game. Oh, now it's being a jerk. Hold on. <laughs> And you can see every time it uh, disconnects and reconnects, there's actually a spike in the frame latency. So it's very possible that uh, the Xbox One controller is having a uh, hell of an issue. Oh, wow. Okay. I can't even use the controller if I plug in the cable because it just won't identify that the cable is connected. So let's just exit this way. And I know of at least one game that is consistently randomized controls. Uh, let me see this real quick, though. Does that game have... Because I can't remember. I had to make notes of all of this. Does it have any issues with Wired? No, it does not. Okay. So with Wired, the Series X controller has no issues. So let's turn this controller off. I just want to show you real quick what the, the correct buttons are. Then connect with the cable. It in such a way. Would you fuck off, Steam? And let's go ahead. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's muted. Uh, everything is all resized wrong now because of. Let me uh, fix that. Because uh, the way Darksiders War Mastered Edition handles stuff is weird. There we go. Uh, then I can fix this. That's that's not a controller issue. That's a that's a game annoyance it just launches stuff in a strange way uh so let's go ahead and launch tony hawk's pro skater hd <clears throat> i don't know if this one can get captured though i never tested that uh so i gotta alt tab out uh, as soon as i get into the game Uh, some games I have to use game capture instead of cream, uh, not cream, cream, what is that, freaking donut, uh, uh, instead of screen capture. So actually, let me uh, load up a character, then I'll alt tab out as soon as I load into the, the area, and alt tab to Discord, oh wait, that's not Discord, dumbass, this is Discord, okay, it is getting captured, so let's uh, alt tab back, or go back into it. And just because of that, let's go ahead and actually exit the game. Just to give it a quick relaunch. Just because I did alt tab out. Just so it's not fucked up. Let's also turn off the controller. Again, just to redo this. Alright, give it a second. Then I'll reconnect it. Alright, it's connected. Launch the game. For this, A is obviously going to be for, like, jumping stuff. X is kick flip, B is grab, Y is grind, and lip moves. Uh, R trigger, or right trigger, I mean, is uh, for switch on the board. Uh, left trigger is for ollie. Or, or nolly, whatever, fakey, or whatever the fuck it is. So, left trigger, nolly, yeah. And, whoops. <clears throat> Switch, that works. Obviously, jumping works. Kip clip works. Grab works. Grind works. You can see it all works. It just it's fine, right? No issues at all. But how how well does it work, right? Let's just go in this and get a little bit of a combo. A little half ass combo. Alright. Works well enough that I can get a decent combo pretty easily. It's 
don't really notice any input latency. That's fine. Works fine. So what happens if I disconnect the cable? All right, it's reconnected. Let's see if it disconnects. Has any issues at all. So far, I'm not noticing any difference. Especially if you can get that on the, whoops. If uh, you can get the little thingy on the way down, the, the, the little reverse thing, whatever for the combo uh, off the ramp. So right now it's having no issues because I connected it with the cable at first. So let's go uh, reconnect the cable. Oh, whoops. And let's exit the game. Completely exit. Disconnect the cable, turn off the controller. Oh, actually, I should hold on to that. All right, controller's off. Let's turn the controller back on. Relaunch the game. This game is consistent. Oh, yeah, you can see already, instead of A to skip through this stuff, it's always supposed to be A. I had to press X. So this one... Don't really need to turn this around so you can see, because of the overlay, I've got active. Again, that overlay is, it could be a, an image of a Super Nintendo controller or whatever. It doesn't matter. So you can see pressing down makes it go up. That's, that's the menu so far. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to actually get into the game. Uh, a doesn't work because A is not A. X is A. And there's uh, some major input latency you could see there. Same guy. Go into warehouse. Watch what happens with this. Going straight. Watch what happens when I push to the right. I'm not holding it anymore. It's just, it's going on its own. Let's push back to the left. Kind of straighten them out out of that little half pipe. Even going back to the left doesn't make a difference. What if I press to the right again? What happens if I do that? Oh, would you look at that? It doesn't do a damn thing. It doesn't fix it. Okay, what about controllers or controls? A doesn't do anything. What about X? Oh, would you look at that? X is actually A, just like I said. So what's uh what's A? If I can get this thing to respond. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I don't remember what A, A does. I have it all written down. It took a while to figure out. Let me turn this around so it's easier to deal with. Y is kick flip, so Y is X. B is still B for some reason, which means if Y is X, X might be Y. So let's go and try grinding something. So, or uh, A might be Y, I mean. Oh. A is, uh, A is X. Right? Or did I fuck something up? Let me try that again. I think I've mixed up because I'm no A is A is Y. I got I got mixed up and I accidentally pressed Y because I'm used to the correct controls. Oh duh, I don't need to hold right. It's constantly going to the right. Uh, let me go now. Uh, oh right, start isn't start. I gotta find out what button start is. Uh okay. Something happened there. It was one of the button inputs. So, uh, A is Y. X is A. Y is X. B is B. Not really sure. I, I don't remember what the rest are. Let's uh, try connecting to the cable. See what happens. Now, oh, would you look at that? The issue seemed to have stopped, except now inputs don't actually work. You can see. No input. Nothing at all. 
just none. Let's disconnect that. Controller returned, but it's still bugged. Let's go ahead and exit this game. If I can. Uh, actually, I don't remember. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Exit run. Yeah, so, uh... Right thumbstick down was start. Uh, left thumbstick down was back. Let's turn this controller off. One more test. I'm not doing every game in this video. I'm only only going to show one more game or one more test with this same game. This time with the Xbox One controller. Let's see what what the the issues with this one. Resize this thing. Yeah, Steam's now. Closer to the size it's supposed to be. Whoops. Not quite there. Supposed to be. Whatever. Uh, this one with this controller had. Sometimes has issues. Sometimes has input lag. Uh, sometimes has disconnects. Sometimes has controls getting stuck with the Xbox One controller. Let me also reset the uh, MSI after. Oh, I guess I'll do that after. Oh, whoops. Hold on. I forgot to turn on the controller. Let me exit out of the game. Then I'll turn it on. Uh, you know what? Alt F4. Speed exit. Yeah. Controller's on. Relaunch the game. Controls work. I was able to press A to skip through those. Ignore how many times I press A to skip through those, of course. You always have to wait a certain amount of frames before it actually takes an input. Uh, let's go ahead and load up this guy in the same place again. Oh, whoops. So far, seems like no issues. Not really seeing any frame rate issues. Obviously, it's just kind of, it's capped at 62. Uh, you can't really uncap this game as far as I was able to find, at least as far as I remember. No issues with the uh, controls being sluggish right now. This one is actually one where... It's more commonly not a problem than it is a problem. For whatever reason. Although, seems like uh, there might be some tiny bit of a delay because I wasn't able to nail the uh, the little landing there. So, really random behavior, and everything I've tested and everything that everyone on the forums has said, it seems to be based on software. Like, the issue seems to be a software issue, and if I had to guess the specifics of the software issue, it's very likely a, uh, a problem with the uh, handshaking between the software and the hardware. Something going on there. Um, possibly even deeper than that since that new Windows issue popped up, but, um, everything's working fine. Let me go ahead and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the game. I've already tested enough. I just, I wanted to show a little video again because of the new random issue. I'm going to show that again. It, it, let me turn this controller off. The new random issue I noticed with Windows because of the controllers. That controller is off. Yeah, you can see that's still happening in Start Menu. If I go to Personalize, it's still happening here as well. Uh, unmute Desktop Audio. Uh, if I go into Display Settings, it's still happening here. It, it happens anywhere in this stuff. It's um, it's the controller. All of that, all because of the damn controller. 
Let's hide that. So, uh, yeah, Microsoft needs to fix stuff. Uh, if anyone has a uh, Series X or Xbox One controller and they are having problems with it, you're not likely to find any fix because all the evidence is suggesting that it is a software issue. The randomness of it, all that is... It, um, it, it's software. Like, I'll, I'll scroll through this. This is the summary stuff I got for the the thread on the forums. I read through. There's over a hundred pages of shit now. A bunch of people having problems. This is just computer players too, unless one of them says otherwise. Uh, there's a hell of a lot more who are having problems on console as well, Xbox One and Series X, and specifically. There's people who said the issues began right after they got a specific update for their console. So very possibly there was an update released by Microsoft that was broken as hell. Moreover, uh, the Series X controller is also, oddly enough, detected as an Xbox One controller in uh, uh, Steam. It is detected as an Xbox One controller in uh, Assassin's Creed. And probably some others I can't remember, but there's there's just a list of problems. It is just ongoing, never ending, and it just won't fucking stop. And Microsoft is not addressing it. They are not admitting it's an issue. I've called them out on Twitter a few times already. Not a single time has they, have they or their support. Uh, team on Twitter responded at all to try and even be like, oh yeah, here's something you can try to fix it or whatever. Uh, people have said that they've managed to contact Microsoft through email or chat or something or even on phone and uh, they're getting the runaround. They're getting replacement controllers. Replacement controllers aren't working. They're getting used controllers as replacements uh, from Microsoft when they send their controller, their new brand new controller in. They send that into Microsoft to get a replacement brand new controller. And what they end up getting in return is uh, instead of some fucking brand new controller, getting some used piece of shit. So all all the controller issues they're just ignoring it and uh yeah if you have a problem with your controller make damn sure you let microsoft know this needs to be made noticed it microsoft needs to fix it i would be really glad if some rich motherfucker goes and uh gets a proper lawsuit done against them because uh these are not cheap at all and they are effectively paperweights for the most part like i have to like for most games this is a paperweight uh for some games i have to use the cable for pretty much every fucking game this is also technically a paperweight because the damn frame rate and frame latency issues so uh yeah Microsoft, you need to fix your shit. Anyone with a problem, make sure they're aware of it. Uh, I started a thing on Twitter already. Um, what did I say? I think that was a hashtag fix the controller Microsoft is what I used. Uh, so far, I'm the only one who used it, though, of course. And it's unlikely that it will ever get fixed because in order for it to get fixed, it's going to take a hell of a lot of people bitching at microsoft and actually making the thing really damn public before they do anything because if it's public enough it will hit their shares if it hits their shares it means it's gonna hit their bottom line of course if it hits their bottom line it means oh hey there's money that's uh getting affected so let's go ahead and actually fix it so we get more money but if it's not affecting their money then they're not gonna give a shit they're just gonna keep ignoring the problem and screw people over so uh Call them out. Don't give up. Just keep yelling at them until the problem's fixed. It's got to get fixed. That's all. Thanks for watching. I'm tired. I'm I'm going to bed. This is it's pissing me off. And this new issue 
better be gone when I restart my computer or actually turn it back on tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm going to get really goddamn annoyed. Bye for now.